This is a Game Caviar production. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. Switched up the logo a little bit. Hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, I, li I did. I like the last version that I did, but I felt that it was too dark. And it, it really didn't convey the emotions that I wanted it to convey. So I went ahead on and redid it real quick. Not that big of a deal. Uh, this is a big deal, though. Modern Warfare 3 on PC. Not because it's Modern Warfare 3 or anything or it's Call of Duty. It's a big deal because on my team, I was playing with a, a um, what is it? A modder. This dude had the aim bot in the whole nine yards. He had, like like juggernauts out the ass he was always in a juggernaut suit and you'll see it at the 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 kill cam the final kill cam like he got the final kill cam i was going for it, but whatever you know he's got the aimbot and, and whatnot and the aimbot is quick man the aimbot is quick seriously like the dude had you'll see it but like he snapped to the target and i don't i've never used any of that crap so i don't know how how they're engineered but does it like for anybody who's used the aimbot or know how they work, I know they they like auto aim and all that, but does it instantly like if somebody came around a corner, does it like automatically just snap to that person, or do you have to like do something special to get it to do that? Uh, because I don't know. Anyway, they did. There was a there was a report that came out. Okay, and. I was reading it, and it was about Uncharted 3 multiplayer. They said that the multiplayer is going to be free to play. I was like, ooh, that's crazy. I like that idea. And I was thinking, and I've said this before, like, why doesn't make the makers of Call of Duty offer something like that for people like myself who don't care for the single-player campaign? Like, I don't buy... Call of Duty games for the single player campaign. I don't. Okay. As far as I'm concerned, Call of Duty should. I mean, it, it might as well just be multiplayer only, because I do not like the single player campaigns. I don't like it. When you play the single player campaign in Call of Duty, it make you seem like a bitch. Like you always do end up doing everything. And you always in a group and everything. I don't. I don't like that. So I get uh, m much more satisfaction out of just playing multiplayer. Would that be something that would be interesting? Like, let's say that uh, Activision and Infinity Ward came out and was like, you know what? We got we we we're gonna release the next Call of Duty, of course. What we're gonna do for the peeps out there that want that want this game? We're gonna sell the multiplayer only version to you for a discounted price. But if you want the single player campaign, you have to buy the whole thing. Is that an idea that you would be interested in? I know I would be. Definitely. Depending on how they look at him up there. Is that him? I think that's him. But yeah. Depending on what the game has in it. And they released the Activision was doing an interview and they had some spokesperson and he was all like, Oh, we're working with Infinity Ward and we've seen so many innovations with Call of Duty, we like what we see, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, dog, the only innovation that you need to add to Call of Duty right now is dedicated servers. How does that escape them year after year after year? It's not a secret, you know? It's not something that's got a cold following, you know? I mean, that's the thing that's on top of everybody's list in Call of Duty. I also would like to see Infinity War and Treyarch come together and have some sort of consistency between the games to where the only thing that us players have to worry about are the textures changing the storyline and minor things like that the weapons and the kill streaks but as far as hardcore goes in modern warfare 3 you have hardcore ricochet that way you can't end up i mean you don't kill your teammates like if you're shooting somebody and your teammate walks in front of you because it happens and you end up killing them in black ops well in modern warfare 3 you end up shooting yourself because the bullets ricochet off of them and come back to you in black ops 2 you don't have that option i think that there are things that these games do like they take step like a game will come out and they take a step forward and then they will take a step back like i like the fact that in black ops 2 the the tags that kill confirmed are more than the kills and that they count towards your kill streaks but or, or your score streaks 
but I don't like the score streak system itself. You know, if you want me to build my own class from scratch, I like that. But I don't like the fact that um, the, the score streak or the pick 10 system and everything, I don't like that at all. I think it was, they've ripped that off of Homefront, that game. Look at that thing. That game that came out uh, like a year and a half ago, two years maybe, and they did a poor job of it. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about that. The multiplayer only and consistency between the two games. I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios, and I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.